Hello, my name is Nicholas Zeromsky. I am the production director of Frank Zeromsky's Greenhouse. It is a family business that exists since 1979. We are specialized in ornamental flowers that are considered annual flowers. Our enterprise's activities are diversified. Our main activity being the propagation and the routing of cuttings. Our products are sold everywhere in Quebec, in Ontario, but also in the United States. In other words, everywhere in North America. Our enterprise, uh, during the peak of the season, employs approximately 90 employees, including 40 of them that are working all year round. The surface area used by our enterprise is of around 200,000 square feet. We are talking about uh, approximately five football fields put together. As I was saying, uh, it's been since 1979 that my parents started the enterprise, and throughout time, it slowly expanded. At the beginning, we had two little wooden greenhouses that added up to 3,000 square feet. Now, we really have greenhouses that are highly technological, a European type of greenhouse that is almost 100% made of glass with an ebb and flow system and also a very advanced heating system based on biomass that is ecological for the environment. Uh, we have also water recycling systems and everything that is at the cutting edge of technology to improve the quality of our production. So we do a lot of research and development for the sole purpose of innovating and to always keep up with the improvements in technology to catch up with all the new tendencies. It has been a few years that we do research and development projects with Agriculture Canada and the University of Laval. However, this time it is really a project with the Organic Science Cluster Program in which we will be testing, first of all, the organic production for the cuttings but also the seed parent that we are going to use to grow the cuttings and for the final product, but also the use of Dell Lightning, a technology that has been existing for a while, but that is not yet applied in the ornamental greenhouse production. At this moment, we are mostly using HPS lamps, high pressure sodium, as we call them. Uh, but the disadvantage with those lights is that they demand a lot of electricity, meaning that the costs are high, and it emits a lot of heat, which can be problematic in restrained areas. However, Dell Lightning is much more economical in electricity, so if we can succeed in using these lights, it will generate huge savings for all growers that will switch to Dell systems. Yes, we have a research project with the Frank Zeromsky Greenhouses. The goal of this project is to develop new organic products for ornamental production, such as potted flowers and green plants. Organic, so produced in accordance with organic production methods. We haven't yet really seen organically produced ornamental plants in Canada, while in Europe there is already a well-developed market for organically produced ornamentals. So the challenge for this project is to develop the fertilization scheme necessary to have high quality plants, as well as to use artificial lighting that will enhance the productive potential of the plants. And artificial lighting is also being used in this study to control plant height in a manner that can eliminate the chemical products commonly used in conventional production to achieve plants that are stockier or depending on the plant type um, to change the internodal length of stems and making them longer. So by experimenting with the light spectrum we can induce physiological or morphological changes I should say that will re result in marketable products. <laughs> My name is Martine Doré. I am a researcher with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. My work focuses on the study of plant physiology and sheltered crop production. As part of our project with the Organic Science Cluster, what we are doing right now is that we are taking cuttings that are grown organically and we will transplant them to turn them into seed parents and at the same time grow them as a final product. Uh, we are going to test organic fertilizers and compare them with chemical fertilizers and also uh, observe the control of insects as well as the natural light compared to the light from the Dell Lightning. 
that will be used to see if the plant grows more rapidly, if the yield of the seed parents uh, is the same, if we will be able to produce as much cuttings out of the seed parent, and in the production of final goods, will it be aesthetically equivalent? Will it be as appealing? Will it be as big? Will it bloom as much as a plant that we grew within the more traditional process? Uh, certainly for us, it means that we will have att to attentively treat every production, to have a production here that will be grown with organic fertilizers and another production with chemical fertilizers. So always a control, always performing trials, and after all, we collect the data to see if we will be facing problems during the production or will everything go according to the plan. Will our results be equal or superior to the ones we are obtaining from the traditional uh, growing process? En fait, les activités de recherche dans in terms of our project activities with the Frank Zeromsky greenhouses, this has been a collaborative effort. That is to say, the company has shared with us their needs and their vision of where they want to go in terms of developing new products. And so we've sat down together and come up with a research project that responds to their needs for research and development. It is certain that for us, an enterprise like uh, the Sars et uh, taking part in research projects with the Organic Science Cluster Centre or with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada comes with a few advantages. First of all, we are always staying at the cutting edge of technology, always be one of the first to go test and try new processes. Uh, such as uh, at this moment, for example, the Dell Lightning that are going to be released on the market, when they will come out, we will have already tested them. We will already have experienced them. Therefore, we will be one step ahead of our competitors uh, by knowing how to use them. On the organic aspect, it is certain that we try our best to use organic pesticides and not chemical ones for the environment for our clients, but especially for our employees uh, to get the minimal exposure to pesticide residues. Uh, for us, this is very important, so always innovating in that way to be able to go green, to go organic as fast as possible is uh, an advantage. I think we all agree that the organic culture is something very good, uh, that we have to save and preserve the planet by using less pesticides uh, that are going to be toxic for the insects, uh, the bees, but also for us humans. Uh, it is to take the green path that we are teaming with researchers in order to discover new uh, production practices.